Evening all, Rich here, back for part 5 and the final part of this SS Princess Irene tutorial. Uh, today's focus is the ship's lifeboats, handrails, vents and all things like that. All the things that I left out in the previous video. So what we're going to do first is focus on the smaller details before we get to the lifeboats. So we're going to go to the ship's wheelhouse first and add a wall to the front of that. So you've got the wheelhouse here on the bridge, or the bridge wheelhouse. And what we're going to do is we're going to add a line of blocks across the front and on the top like so. And then two to the sides like that. So it basically just adds a wall uh, like so. And there you go, that's that little bit of detail done there. And then what we're going to do is add a couple of small vents to the roof. So go to the centre block of the front and on the top count back to about the fourth block back on the wood. So one, two, three, four and two to the side and add a small vent which is three high plus one forward and same the other side. So it's centre, one, two out, one, two up, three like that, there you go, two vents on the top like that. And then what we want to do then is to add some stairs to the to the side. So if we go to the back wall of the ship's wheelhouse and then count count forward about uh, one, two, three, four, five, go about five forward and then remove a white block there on the top and then build out two, uh, two wood blocks like so. And then we get our wood stairs, which is always handy. And we should build our stairs going down, down, down to the raised platform deck below and then we add blocks underneath for support and then the banisters two up two up two up well two up two up and then round like so and a block underneath there we go so there's the stairs on the side like that so we do the same on the other side to add our stairs go about one two three four five forward remove a white block build two out in wood and then wood stairs going down down to down and then blocks underneath and then banisters two up two up and then around like so and there we go there's our stairs there and that is pretty much all we need to do for the wheelhouse apart from the handrails which I'm going to get now the handrails are of course the iron bars and we just add them around the top of the ship's wheelhouse like so and there we go that all looks nice and neat doesn't it there we are, so there we are, that's, that's that job done there. Brilliant, marvellous, beautiful. And then what we can do then is down onto the uh, the uh, raised deck behind the ship's wheelhouse, or what is attached to the ship's wheelhouse, we can add handrails around that as well. Um, yeah, so we'll add the handrails around that. And you can add stairs to it as well if you want to, so this platform you've got, you will have access to it. So if we add the handrails first up to the uh, second deck house, and then from the single block here which attaches to the deck house we can remove that and then replace that with our wood stairs which I've just thrown away so we're going to get our wood stairs again and put the stair, wood stairs in there like so so you have access to that uh, raised platform so I do the same on the other side so it all looks neat just get the handrails in here all the way up the side like so and then remove that one block there and replace with stairs like that and there we go there's that job done there. Um, and then what you can do then is for the ships, uh, for around, the around the funnels, the two deck houses of the funnels, you can add the handrails to them as well. So add the handrails all around these, at least these two deck houses anyway. I think the third one, oh, that hasn't got handrails yet either, so I've not done that one. So I'll just get this one out of the way, or these two, and then get these handrails done, and then we can uh, move on to the other deck house as well. So anyway, there's deck house funnel number one done. With the handrails then go to funnel number two and do the handrails around that. I usually do the handrails last but uh, as we're on the deck we may as well do it. Do, 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 do. Get this job all sorted and neat. Do, 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 do. There we go, so there's that handrails done there. And then the same on the platform below, behind funnel number two, so it's platform here, we add the handrails to that. And then when you get to the end of the side, what you can do is remove one block on the back end at each end and add stairs there. And on the other side as well, add stairs there like so. So just a stair block for access to that raised platform. And then add the handrails around the rest of it. Like so. And there's that deck house and floor bit done there. And then the raised platform here as well. This very small deck uh, platform, we can uh, add the handrails around that. Uh, 
And I don't think, don't really think you need to put stairs for this one. I don't think it's important enough for uh, stairs. But uh, if you want to, you can. So while I'm here, may as well do it. And I so I add stairs to the back wall again, similar to the other deck, uh, to the other platform. Just add a couple of stair blocks like so, just so that you have access to it. So there we go. And then for the last deck house, once again, just add stairs around that up to the stair. Uh, up add handrails around like so, not stairs, we'll add handrails up to the stairs and then around the back and around to the other side I get, keep getting my words mixed up I suppose that's what happens when you don't get much sleep uh, so there we go around like so and then up the front like that and there we go, there's the handrails for that deck house done, marvellous, brilliant and uh, the ship does look a bit empty on the top, but once we get the lifeboats in place, it will look a lot better. So um, that's that job done there. And what I'm going to do now is work out what I'm going to do now. So bear with me while I uh, look at where my notes are, because I've forgotten where they are. <laughs> bear with me. Um, so what we're going to do now, we're going to add the uh, bridge wing wall now, which is a wall that goes around the bridge wings on the front of the ship. So if we go to the ship's wheelhouse on the front, uh, on so the ship's wheelhouse there, we're going to add a wall across the front, like so, which goes all the way out to the side, like that, and then around the curve of the bridge wings, and then from the curve there you go back two, and then one, two, three, like that, and that is all you need on the sides. So do the same the other side, just build out to the side, like so, and then the two, and then the two back, two back and then three one two three and there we go that's the uh, bridge wings done there and then for the extra detail which is sort of a normal thing for a ship of this era to get the old brown uh, the brown carpet and just add the carpet if you want to you don't have to do this but add the carpet around the top just to add a bit of extra uh, fanciness to it and remember brown always hides the shit brown carpet is always good for that sort of thing and then just build it all the way around on the top of the bridge wings like so and there you go it looks it looks alright doesn't it, I mean it's not brilliant, not perfect but uh, it will do and personally if I was able to I'd add the, I'd add this brown carpet on the uh, on these decks here but because the the um, pillars are attached to the uh, actual blocks the, the carpet won't attach to the uh, underneath them so it will look a bit weird if you uh, stagger the carpet out, but uh, that's just one of the shortcomings of various materials on this game. So, no big deal, but you know, it's just one of those things. So uh, that's that done there. Now, before we add the, uh, uh, before we add anything else, we're going to go down to uh, the bottom of the white section on the side. So we've got the white, the bottom white section on the side of the ship. So it doesn't matter which side you're on because it's the same on both sides. But we're going to add windows along the side and around the back of the uh, white section on the bottom here so where it attaches to the black and what we're going to do, we're going to go to the front corner of the main superstructure, don't worry about the forecastle because that won't have any but if we go to the, where the superstructure begins in this white wall here, we're going to add a block of glass or a glass window every fourth block, so we'll add our first window there like so and then every fourth block we add a window and just do this all the way along, along the side of the ship around the back and up the other side so I shall do one side and around the back and we'll get the other side done in a bit so we'll just get these ones out of the way and it's every fourth block well it doesn't really matter really because um, if you use deck plans or whatever you have got actual images of the ship then you can probably follow the pattern on the real ship but uh, oh, well, then uh, you won't have to do this but this is just a random thing which I do on most of my ships just a single placement of windows uh, and a certain pattern so it's not accurate but if you want to follow it by all means or just make it your own I mean, think about it I did <laughs> so just add these windows all the way along the side every fourth block and everything should be dandy Get near the corners now. Uh, well, not corners, but round the awkward bit. So add the uh, windows where we can. Every sort of every fourth block. When you get round the corners, you can, you can stagger them out a bit more. Um, sort of, well, not really that that one, but uh, maybe that one there. 
and I think that will do going around to the back because if you stagger the windows too much you get, you get end up with a mess so that don't look too bad so you got the windows on the side and um, yeah it's not brilliant not perfect but it will do I love that philosophy so what I'm going to do I'm going to quickly copy that to the other side because it's the same thing on the other side just a, a window every four or four or five blocks depending on what you want to do but uh, I've done it at four blocks so um, you can copy that if you want to so I'm just going to quickly copy this to the other side copy to that block there that was second position but yeah so I'm going to quickly copy that just stand on the centre here we do copy flip to the right and then we paste and that should be okay on both sides and it is there we are I've got the windows on the other side as well so that's that job done marvellous brilliant fantastic right so what do we do now let's have a read Excuse me. Right, so what we can do now is to add the ship's rudder, which goes on the back of the ship. So I'm going to go and do that now. I'll get all the small things out of the way first before we go on to the uh, arty farty things of the lifeboat. So we get down to the back end of the ship, where we were a minute ago, and go right down to the keel below. And what we're going to do, we're going to add hinges first, which are cobblestone walls. So get those. We'll add our cobblestone wall. And every other block, so start at the bottom of the keel, around the back end here, we're going to add eight hinges up every other block. So one hinge, two hinge, three hinge, four, five, six, seven, and eight there, like so. So there we are, there's our hinges like that. And then for the red part of the rudder, we're going to start at the bottom, and we're going to go and add three, three on the bottom. So uh, one, two, three, and then two, and two like that. And then up two, one, two, and then up five, one, two, three, four, five, like that. And then in forward of that one, up three, one, two, three, one, three, like that. Or two, rather. <laughs> and then one white on that. I think that's how you do it. So it's three, two, two, up two, and then up five, and then two plus a white one. <laughs> That'll do, I think. And then you just build forward with the white to connect to the rest of the hinges. And fill in the red underneath, like so. There we are. That's the red part of the thing done. And now for the for the black part, which we need black blocks, we're going to add. Uh, I think it's four, three, two. So if we add one, two, three, four, there like that, and then three, one, two, three, and then two, one, two, and then one like that. And there we go. And that's the top. Of a rudder like that. Marvellous, isn't it? So that's uh, my little job done there. So I'll just double check that again. So it's four, four, three, two, one. Yeah, that's fine. So that's all the black and the red and the white done. So that's our rudder. And now she has movement. She can move forward and now she can move sideways. If this was a, a game that uh, had that sort of thing. <laughs> Such a barren landscape, isn't it? Right, anyway. What we're going to do now is move on to our final big job, which is the ship's lifeboat. So now there's going to be, um, I think it's seven of these lifeboats on either side of the ship. So there'll be 14 lifeboats in total. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to work on the left side um, and do the lifeboats here. But it's the same on both sides, okay? So you have seven down this side, seven down the other side. And there's a set of davits that go on the stern deck house as well. So we'll sort them out later on. But we'll get these deck, these uh, lifeboats, lifeboats done first. So... If we go to the bridge wing walls on the front of the ship, which, which we added a few minutes ago, bridge wing walls there, and we're going to go to a one block back from there and add a block on the side of the ship like so. And then from there we're going to build down three, one, two, three, like that. And then we're going to build up, uh, what do we want? we want, up four, no, up five, sorry. One, one, oh, damn it, one, two, three, four, five. And then two, one, two, and one, or two rather. Depending on what you want to do, so I built up five, two, and then two across. So your davit should look something like that, basically a big upside down J. Um, so that's that one. And then what you want to do then is to count back to the thirteenth block. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, and do the same again. So down three, one, two, three, up five, one, two, three, four, five, and then the J facing the other davit so two and then two that way so there's your first pair like that and then the lifeboat we're going between 
So before you add the lifeboat, we'll add the second set of davits first. So one block gap from the last davit and add our next one. This will be the next pair. And then 13 block or 13 blocks back we want the next one. So 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. We'll do the same again. Down three, up five, and then the two and the two that way. So there we are. There's two gantry davits there like that. Or not gantries but uh, davits. So you just want seven pairs of those things along the side and uh, everything should look okay but what I'll do now I'll focus on the lifeboat so if we go between the, t the first two gantry the first two davits rather I keep calling them gantries they're not um, so we go between the first two lifeboat davits and on the wood part if we go sort of from the first davit go two back and then one in and we can add the keel of the boat which is uh, 11, is it 10 I think so build it two wide and then 10 long, so that's 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, hang on, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, so it's 10 long for the keel, and then at each end we add 2 forward, 2 forward like that, and then 2 back, 2 back like that, and then build the side, like so, and that will be basically a bathtub shaped lifeboat, like that, and there you go, there's the boat, and then you can fill it in with blocks if you want to, Personally, I do because I add a cover to it. So I get the lifeboat in, like so, and then we add a canvas cover. On the prototype, I use, or it's a carpet cover. On the prototype, I use blue, but it's up to you what colour you want to use. I think today we'll go with, uh, we'll go with a purple. Shall we? Let's go. Let's be a bit awkward and be purple. And I've just done some damage there. So yeah, let's add a purple cover to this one. It's a bit uh, blingy, but or a bit uh, extravagant, but. Just adds a bit more colour to what is normally a red, white, and black ship, basically. So on the prototype, I use blue, but uh, it's up to you whatever colour you want to do. So there we are, a bit of purple bling there for you. There you go. So that's our first lifeboat done. So you want to do that seven times, seven davits, seven pairs of davits, and seven lifeboats all the way down the side. And you do the same on the other side. So um, I'll do the other boat as well. I might be able to do all of these. So uh, do one. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and then the ends like so, and the sides, and then the guts. And then the cover. Like I say, any colour will do like a bloody technicolor thing and there we go that's the other one done so I do the uh, third set now what I'll do I'll, I'm trying to think now what I'll do I'll put the davits in so we want seven pairs of these and then uh, we get the gantry oh, not gantry you call them the gantries we get the lifeboats in so it's every 13th block or 13 block back do the same again. So that's uh, that's three pairs. And I think I think what I'll do, I'll do a jump cut for this one because I'm going to be here all day. So um, what I do, like I said, I'll do a jump cut when I get all the lifeboats in on the deck, and I do the other side as well. Um, but you sort of get the idea how this goes. It's basically just that same design, seven times on the side, seven times on the other side. And that will be pretty much it. So I uh, shall return in just a moment. Okay, back again. So there's all the lifeboats in place, and it should, in theory, look something like that. So seven, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven on the side there, and the seven on the other side. So it uh, sort of fills out the detailing of the uh, boat deck because it did look quite empty, but uh, that's no big deal now. So uh, that's that little job done there. So uh, let's look on the other side, make sure they're all lined up. That is fine. Marvellous, brilliant, wonderful. Right, so what we're going to do now, go to the stern deck house, which is uh, the thing we built in the previous video, and we're just going to add a set of davits to this thing as well. So on the side uh, of the top of the top deck, basically, we'll add a block, and then the same design for the davits. So down three, one, two, three, and then up five, one, one, two, three, four, five, and then the two and the two in. And then count 13 blocks back, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 
and do the same again. Down three and up one, one, two, three, four, five, two and two in. So there we are. There's those davits on that side, and then we can do the same the other side. So we just put them about here. And then the down three. Count back 30. I don't want the counting back. I just measure from the other side. So I have one block on the side. Down three. And then up five. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, two in like that. And there you go. I didn't add a lifeboat to these ones on the prototype. So I'm not going to bother today on the uh, main build. But if you want to. It's the same design as the previous lifeboats, just remove the handrails if you want and put the lifeboat on the deck. And uh, it shouldn't look too bad, but uh, as, as I say, that's as far as I go with the lifeboats for now, because uh, I can't be bothered. Um, and now what we want to do now is one more job for today, is to go behind the last lifeboat davits on the main boat deck. So at the back of the boat deck, go for the last davit, and we're just going to add a wall of white blocks around the back, or along the side and then around the back of the boat deck and then up the other side to the davits and there we go so that is that job done and that's pretty much all we need to do that's everything for the Princess Irene we can pretty much call this ship finished and that's all I want to do because uh, yeah, I'm getting tired of doing these little ships one well, say getting tired of doing little ships I prefer the little ships but uh, Ones that are a bit more fancy than this than these ones because uh, this is basically the uh, Fremantle hull with a bit of extra detail. But uh, anyway, that is the Princess Irene done, and uh, that's all I have to say for today and for this ship. So, I'm going to call it a day with that one. I'm going to call it finished, and uh, there we go. So, thanks very much for watching and subscribing and all things like that. Consider becoming a patron to help support me and uh, keep this channel going. Because YouTube are being a complete bunch of bastards at the moment. Um, not like everything else at the moment, but there we go. Um, so yeah, if you want to be that, then do do, do so. But, uh, it's up to you. And uh, thanks for everything else. So uh, keep sending your requests and things like that in the comments section. I, I, I may not reply to all the comments, but I try and take notes of everyone or every request that has been, uh, been made. Um, so I try and do the research for the ships that are needed next. And um, yeah, I will try and do my best to recreate the ones that have been requested. I usually, I usually do the ones that are requested the most, uh, you know, like the Rotterdam, uh, the America, and things like that. And uh, yeah, I sh I'll get round to them as soon as I can, if I can. It depends on the deck plans as well. If I can't find the required information, deck plans, photographs, and things like that, then I have to scratch it and not do it. It's the sort of the thing I had to do with the SS France, the 1912 version. Um, the SS France that had four funnels. There is no deck plans, there is hardly any photographs, no models or anything like that to uh, get research from, so uh, I've had to uh, scratch, uh, scrap that one. Queen Mary 2 is also scrapped as well, but that's for a different reason. That's just lack of interest and lack of putting effort into it. But uh, there are ones, or uh, there are Queen Mary 2s being built on our Facebook page, so uh, if you want to join that, then by all means, just look for the Rich LaRousse uh, Facebook page. Or Facebook group and join that if you want and you'll find all the information you want regarding the Queen Mary 2 and its pro uh, progress it's going through a third build I believe but anyway that is it for today so this is Rich signing off logging off disappearing and I shall return with another video soon so uh, bye for now